Today I would like to show you how to record a keynote presentation using ScreenFlow. To start, there are a couple of things to consider before creating your keynote or PowerPoint presentation. I will be using keynote for this example. This has to do specifically with the aspect ratio of the presentation itself, more specifically the slides. By default, Keynote will present the standard aspect ratio, which is a 4x3 frame and pretty much a square image. What this means is on export, you will have black bars on the left and right side of your slides. Whereas the 16x9 or widescreen option will produce a full screen video that will fit nicely on most displays today. Once that is all set up and your project is ready to be recorded, the next thing to do is open ScreenFlow. By default, when ScreenFlow first opens to the welcome window, the only selection that is checked is Record Desktop From. You will need to make the appropriate selections to get all the material you want in the project. To record a connected microphone, you will want to select Record Audio From. To record yourself using a connected webcam or built-in cam, to be displayed in the lower right-hand corner of your video, choose Record Video From. To record computer audio or audio that might be coming from the presentation itself, or iTunes or QuickTime, then select Record Computer Audio. Now select the Record button. Since I'm already recording, we'll skip that step. Let's open Keynote. Once you have Keynote open, select the first slide and enter Presentation Mode by selecting the Play icon here. ScreenFlow is now recording the presentation in the background. You would then cycle through your slides and most likely be narrating along the way. Now you can see we're advancing through the slides using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Once this presentation is complete, you will want to stop the ScreenFlow recording. Once you have stopped the recording and the ScreenFlow interface window has opened, you will most likely want to remove all the unnecessary material. Advance to the position in the timeline where the project begins. Highlight the applicable clips in the timeline. And using the T key on the keyboard, you can split the clip. That's T as in Tango. Then advance the scrubber once again to the end of the project. Use the T key to split the clip, and now you can delete all the unwanted material from the project. You can close the gaps by right-clicking in between and choosing Close Gaps. And here you have your recorded keynote presentation using ScreenFlow.